还记得武汉吗？ On January 24th, Chinese authorities initiated a lockdown of 30 million people in 10 cities, including the presumed ground zero, Wuhan. Trump praised China, tweeting, "China has been working very hard to contain the coronavirus. The United States greatly appreciates their efforts and transparency. It will all work out well." 最终。根据武汉市新冠病毒疫情防控指挥部发布的数据，这场新冠疫情带走了武汉三千八百六十九条人命。然而，正当美国仍陷在疫情当中，死亡人数越过二十万人之际，现在的武汉已经从悲伤中重生。有鉴于外国媒体总是质疑中国存在漏报和误报现象，不相信中国的防疫成果。中国政府在九月邀请了包括 NHK 在内的外国媒体，亲眼看看武汉重灾区现在的样子。授業を再開したばかりという小学校を案内されると、マスク姿の子供はいません。大勢の患者が殺到した病院では、さまざまな感染対策が取られ、日常を取り戻したことをアピールしていました。中心街にあるナイトクラブです。大勢の若者たちがいわゆる三密状態で踊りを楽しんでいました。疫情吗？对。很好啊，很好。你看我们都没有戴口罩。开心。美国的《华尔街日报》则是以数字陈述了武汉的现况。This is the first time this year that the Huang family has taken a vacation, and the place they chose to visit is the city where the pandemic started. 当时就是跟现在不太一样，武汉就可以怎么说就又活过来了。The Huangs were in Wuhan during a public holiday in October called Golden Week. During the same time last year, more than seven million Chinese travelers went overseas. This year, tourist sites around the world have been empty. And most Chinese travelers are choosing to stay in the country, so many are going to ground zero of the pandemic. During Golden Week, Wuhan had the most visitors of any Chinese city. It is a global health crisis. Wuhan's people are very lucky. Wuhan is the most safe city in the world, and there are still some good things to be happy about. Wuhan is overcoming its pandemic past to rise in the ranks of top travel destinations. After 76 days, the lockdown was lifted. And many people emerged from their homes for the first time. But a fresh outbreak of cases about a month later forced authorities to roll out a mass testing plan for the city's 11 million people. They achieved it in about 10 days. Since then, the city hasn't reported any locally transmitted cases. A safe city is a critical part of the Wuhan government's plan to help boost tourism. Authorities have put in place specific health requirements to ensure the city remains COVID-free, like at Wuhan's main amusement park. All staff at Happy Valley are required to test for coronavirus, and the park has had to limit capacity to 75 percent. Tian Ning Zhao has been working at Happy Valley for nine years. And when the park reopened after the city's nearly three-month lockdown, she was assigned to a new role. 为了保证就是每一趟游客乘坐的一个舒适以及安全，所以我们每趟就会对车体进行一个消杀，不断的提醒游客佩戴好口罩，保持安全间距。谢谢你啊。Before entering the park, visitors also have to register online and submit their national ID numbers in order to facilitate contact tracing in case of an outbreak. It also helps that everyone in China is part of a health code system that tracks coronavirus infection and travel histories. Wuhan has the right to be closed, plus the right to be tested, so it's also something that, in some sense, makes me feel comfortable with the virus. A safe city means that people like Huang will travel more than 200 miles to visit and spend money here. How much? Ten thousand. Huang and his family spent about $300 during their two-day stay in Wuhan. 
。有的来武汉旅游，比如说呢，您要去吃饭呀、啊，您要入住住一些酒店啊，然后要打车啊这些，我觉得在某种层面上也是对武汉的一种呃帮助吧，我觉得。Wuhan is Central China's main transit hub, and during the early days of the pandemic, its airport and railways helped spread the virus. But now, those same transportation links are bringing in visitors. During Golden Week, Wuhan received more than 18 million tourists. But spending still hasn't come back to normal levels. The long holiday generated about 1.4 billion dollars of tourism revenue for the city. That's down about 30% from the same period last year. Wan Fan is a Wuhan native, and he's been running this bar in the city center for more than seven years. During the lockdown in January, Wan's bar, like all businesses, had to shut down. The bar reopened in mid-April to a slow trickle of local customers, but Wan says he noticed a sharp change after the city's mass testing effort was completed. This thing has already passed. As time goes by, people's confidence is getting stronger and stronger. But to return back to pre-pandemic business levels, Juan says it'll depend on tourists. We really need more tourists to come.